LastPass business users using federated services can be defederated and refederated by the business admin in the admin console. This increases security through the re-encryption of the user vault, allowing the business admin to reset and regenerate the LastPass master password for all business users. Now for this to work, under Policies, be sure that the policy Permit Super Admins to Reset Master Passwords is enabled. For the policy to be activated for any business user, they'll need to have logged into their account at least once through the LastPass browser extension since the policy was enabled. Now when you're ready, in the Admin Console, go to Users. Select the business user you want to defederate, and then using the three dots menu, click Reset Master Password. Now, if this option isn't there, the business user will need to log out and re-log in through the LastPass browser extension to activate the proper policy. Enter your LastPass master password to confirm the change, and then submit. Then you'll be able to enter a new LastPass master password for the user. You may want to use the LastPass password generator to ensure that the password you create is secure. Be sure also to save this LastPass master password somewhere before you confirm the new password and then click Submit. The user data will be re-encrypted and once complete, you can close. Now as you can see under Users, once the profile of the user has been closed and the page refreshed, that the user we defederated is now listed as not federated. Next, you'll mark that user or all non-federated users for refederation. If you want to refederate all non-federated users, then under Users, you'll need to use the option to filter users. Filter them by their federated status by checking Not Federated, apply the filters, and then select everyone. If everyone selected is set up for federated services, then from More Actions, you can choose Enable Federated Login. Everyone's not, so just select the individual that was just defederated, and then under More Actions, you'll be able to choose Enable Federated Login. We can also just select the user, and then using the three dots menu, select Enable Federated Login. Once you have, you'll need to confirm this by clicking Enable. Now close the user profile and remove the filter you'll see the user has a listed federated status of selected, which means they're marked for conversion. The last part of this process depends on whether the federated services are cloud or on-premises. In the case of cloud, the LastPass business user will need to log back into their vault using the LastPass browser extension. They'll use their email address and the new LastPass master password you created for them. Once they've logged in, they'll be immediately redirected to the sign-in page of their identity provider. Here, they'll sign on with their Active Directory account information, and once they're signed on, they'll be then directed once again to LastPass so they can enter their new LastPass master password. They'll enter the one you've provided them, and then save master password. That's it. The vault will get re-encrypted, and once it's done, the user can log in again. Now, if you're dealing with an on-prem federated service, you'll be managing this last step. You'll need to access the server where the LastPass AD connector is running. Once you have, log in to the LastPass AD connector using your LastPass business account as a super admin. When you're logged in, go under Federation, and here you'll click Migrate. You'll then be asked once again to enter in your super admin credentials. Once you have, the migration will proceed. In this case, you'll see it's migrating only one user. When it's complete, the user will have been refederated and will use their on-prem credentials for access. In both cases, you can monitor the status of users from Users in the Admin Console. Okay, well, that's it for defederating and refederating LastPass business users. For more assistance, check out our help documentation at support.lastpass.com.